I busted out the old home video camera for this one, so you know it's the real deal. Strugglers, do you have any idea what tomorrow is? <laughs> yeah. That's right, baby. It's the 2023 Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards. The only award show that matters. Tell the Emmys, we don't care. Oh, hey, the Grammys just called. We don't care. <laughs> Have fun at the Oscars, losers. <laughs> Where else can you listen to thousands of children screaming literally nonstop at the top of their lungs for over an hour? Hi. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, how are you? This... All right. Okay, well, uh... Okay, nice to see you. There were even offshoot shows like the Kids' Choice Sports Awards, where Odell Beckham Jr. took home the highly coveted King of Swag title in 2019. Not to be outdone by Tiger Woods, who won the award for a golfer. And who could forget about the cool, edgy, older brother to the Kids' Choice Awards, the Nickelodeon Teen Choice Awards. What's that? The Teen Choice Awards aired on Fox. They were never on Nickelodeon like I always thought they were. They haven't aired since 2019. My entire life is a lie. And now it's worse because I'm repeating everything you say into the microphone. The Kids' Choice Awards have been around since 1988, basically since cavemen walked the earth. And my favorite part about that very first show was when Beverly Hills Cop 2 won the award for favorite movie at the Kids' Choice Awards. Which scene do you think won it for them? Bikini volleyball at the Playboy Mansion or naked boobs at the strip club? Back then they gave out these kaleidoscopes as trophies and they still technically do that because the iconic orange blimp that we've all come to know and love, that has a kaleidoscope inside of it. But there is something even more iconic than the blimp. And if you thought I was gonna go through an entire Kids' Choice Awards video without talking about the slime, shame on you. No, really, you should be embarrassed for thinking that. It's become a sort of rite of passage in the industry to get covered in slime. Anybody who's anybody has been hit with that sweet green goo, baby. It's definitely an honor. Like, I've heard people talk more enthusiastically about getting slimed at the Kids' Choice Awards than they do about winning actual prestigious awards. And they've been sliming since the very beginning, right away at that first 1988 show. Although this wasn't for an award winner like they do now, the winners didn't even used to be at the show themselves to accept the award. It was all kind of done virtually. Hey, 2020 called, they want their award show back. Can I do that joke twice in one video? <laughs> the 2020 Kids' Choice Awards, completely virtual, completely depressing. Hey, remember when I was supposed to go to the Shorty Awards in 2020, but then they canceled everything and I sat at home alone, bored, instead of going to something fun, YouTube related for the first time in my life? Yeah, virtual award shows can rot in hell. We love you, thank you so much for voting. We're gonna make organic slime right now and just slime ourselves. Okay, you know what you said, right? You heard yourself say that. Every movie that was nominated for Best Picture that year was some kind of sequel. Frozen 2, Angry Birds 2, Lego Movie 2, Secret Life of Pets 2, Toy Story 4, Lion King, Copy and Paste Edition. It's nice to know that in a society that largely looks down on sequels, the kids are still able to enjoy them. Because the kids aren't cowards like you. We had such a good time making this film. We hope to make a million more. Anybody else want to say anything? Yeah, please don't make a million more. Other than the offensive lack of slime, the 2020 show was good for what it was, which is a watered down at home version of the Kids' Choice Awards. But we don't want it watered down. We want it fully concentrated and injected directly into our veins. The 2008 Kids' Choice Awards. Added to the list of things from that year that for some reason had a very profound impact on my life. Back in 2008. Back in 2008. In 2008. 2008. 2008. Jack Black returned for his second time as the host, and I can't think of anything in Nickelodeon history more iconic than this. This show was one of, if not the only times, I actually watched the full show. Maybe that's why 2008 sticks in my memory. It was the first year that we got cable. <laughs> there was this one promo for the show that still burned into my memory. <laughs> I'm glad to be back I'm the host with the most I'm rocking brains from a coast to coast Oh, it's so good 
It's so good. <laughs> so Jack Black hosted in 2006 and then he hosted again in 2011 as well. And I've never seen somebody commit so hard to something in my entire life. You would think that they created Jack Black in a lab with the sole purpose of hosting the Kids' Choice Awards. Why have the slime gods forsaken me? Here are some of my favorite moments from that particular show. They revealed one of the winners by busting open a pinata with a Guitar Hero guitar. Very 2008. And that's how I expect everything to be revealed from now on, okay? That's freaking awesome. Slam it with a guitar hero guitar, pinata style. Akon drove this car with a giant Jack Black bobblehead into a bunch of barrels full of slime. This is, this is all I ask for in life, come on. Chris Brown won favorite male singer just one year before we all learned he was a giant piece of garbage. And in that same category for favorite male singer, Soldier Boy was nominated. <laughs> the clip they played when they were showing the nominations is not even of Soldier Boy singing. Soldier Boy! There was this part where they tried to slime Brendan Fraser, but they totally missed. And then he had to like awkwardly step into the stream. <laughs> Well, anyway. Also, there were a couple of Disney Channel shows nominated for favorite TV show, but then Drake and Josh ended up winning. Seems like kind of a power move by Nickelodeon, to be honest. Like they nominated their competitors' shows only to frickin' squash them like a bug under the weight of their own programming. But what really sets 2008 apart from all the other Kids' Choice Awards is that this was the first and only time that SpongeBob was nominated for favorite cartoon and didn't win. They were taken down by Avatar The Last Airbender, which, since that video that I made, I have watched. Holy smokes, that's a good show. But for all of that, for how great that show is, how much of a big deal it was that it took down SpongeBob, they didn't even announce it on stage. A game-changing show that snapped one of the longest winning streaks in award show history, and all they gave it was this little graphic heading into commercial. How dare you? Team Avatar deserved better than that. Last year's show, 2022, was the first time that they had people in the audience again since the start of the pandemic. And it's just nice to see folks coming together again, celebrating the important things, like Dixie D'Amelio winning favorite social media star or something? Social music star, sorry. I'm shaking right now, this is, what the heck? That's awesome, good for her. Um, kind of weird that I wasn't nominated though. What's that all about? We're just gonna pretend like Got Milk wasn't eligible that year? I'll remember this, Nickelodeon. I will. Mr. Beast won favorite male creator and he literally couldn't turn off his content brain for 30 seconds to just enjoy the moment. That was, that was fast. It's still going. We gotta optimize this for retention. I can feel people clicking away. There was this whole controversy when Jojo Siwa wasn't invited to the show last year, even though she's kind of been the face of the network for the last five or six years. I wasn't invited. I'm not sure why, but I just didn't get an invite. Me literally every time there's a YouTube event. <laughs> so they accidentally forgot to invite somebody who was nominated for an award that year. It was a goof. It was just bad timing that she happened to come out as gay that year. We we goofed up. In 1996, Tia and Tamara Maori were co-winners of the Favorite TV Actress Award, further solidifying that twins are not their own individual people, they are one. At least until 2010 when Dylan Sprouse won Favorite TV Actor and left Cole in the frickin' dust. That's okay, Cole absolutely cleaned up at the Teen Choice Awards, so I think, I think they're even. Why is this dude from Superbad on the Kids' Choice Awards, that movie is definitely rated R. See, this guy gets it. Tell that to 1988. So now that we've taken a little trip down memory lane, I think it's time that we jump into the future. Let's see what they've got planned for this year's Kids' Choice Awards taking place tomorrow night. All right, let's just kind of look around and see what they got here. Oh, here's the hosts, the duo of your dreams. Charlie D'Amelio and Nate Burleson. I, I, 100%, how did they know? I've been dreaming about this since I was a child. TikTok sensation Charlie D'Amelio took home a blimp and a very slimy dress after winning favorite social media star in 2021. She won favorite social media star in 2021? Out of everybody? I, I mean, I existed in 2021. Are we gonna forget that? Oh, look, it's Preston. From the critically acclaimed YouTube Originals series, copy that. Always remember safety and protection. Do not try this at home. Things are about to get a little bit wild. Oh yeah, here's the wind up. My favorite part, honestly. Oh, it was a clean first hit. Is he just reacting to himself? doing this thing like 
a couple of seconds ago. <laughs> the producers were like, okay, Preston, you did a great job of smashing the wall with the guitar. That's freaking awesome. Slam it with a guitar, hero guitar, pinata style. But I don't think that's gonna be enough for the kids. Uh, I think you gotta, we gotta do a react video on top of it. And then maybe you can react to that. Maybe you can react to you reacting. Our attention spans that bad now? What happened? <laughs> I missed this read so many times. Yes! Now, not only do I finally get to touch this for the first time, it feels even better than I realized, but underneath the blimp, favorite movie nominees, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sequel. Hocus Pocus 2, Sequel. Jurassic World Dominion, Sequel. Black Panther Wakanda Forever, Sequel. Monster High the Movie, Top Gun Maverick, Sequel. Black Adam, Avatar The Way of Water. Sequel. What is going on? <laughs> it's so much more beautiful in person. When I put that succulent blimp in my hands, let me tell you, I don't know why my first reaction was to kiss it and rub it on my face. Preston, you know what you're saying, dude. What are you, why are you saying these things? Oh man, check out these iconic celebrity orange carpet looks. This is kind of fun, actually. The website is sick. <laughs> it's way more involved than it has any business being. It doesn't need to be this good. Go off, Nickelodeon. Go off, Rihanna. Girl! Wait a second, how do you train to headline the 2023 Super Bowl by performing Hard, Rude Boy, and Don't Stop the Music at the 2010 Kids' Choice Awards? She performed Rude Boy at the Kids' Choice Awards? I don't know, that doesn't seem like the appropriate place. Justin Bieber performed, Big Time Rush. Dude, this is ridiculous. This lineup is insane. Jack Harlow, for goodness sake. He performed First Class. Did he censor the part where he talked about the sweet semen? <laughs> Check out the experience on Roblox. A little overwhelming with the sensory stuff going on right now. Okay, what's this? Slime other players and be the last player standing. I'll figure it out as I go. This can't be that hard, huh? How do I get this stuff off the screen? I can't see anything. Where is everybody else? Am I alone? Is it just me? How do I do anything? <laughs> Let's jump on this box. Oh, we got an enemy. How do I kill him? <laughs> I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna ambush and jump on his head. I'm gonna just try to crush his skull between my toes. Dan Schneider style. Oh, there's another. We're, we're, we're being surrounded. I do not see a single gosh darn thing and I'm at the very tippy top of this tower. I, holy crap. Okay, I have a gun. How did I do that? Oh yeah, oh, that's a snipe. That's a snipe. Oh, you're done, you're done. RIP, baby. Freaking RIP, this is too easy. It's just me and you, baby. Me and you, you're going down, sucker. That's it, he's one shot, he's one shot. You're literally garbage, you're literally trash. Bro are you serious? Freaking let's go, oh boy. Okay, wait, so like they had such a head start on me. <laughs> I didn't even learn how to shoot a gun until halfway through that. I feel bad. Those had to have been little kids. <laughs> AODJ. Play got milk. Play got milk, I said. All right, that's enough Roblox, I think. <laughs> let's go vote. Let's, let's see who the nominees are this year and let's vote for our favorites and let's help. We gotta be part of democracy. Give me an I voted sticker. All right, I'm ready to rep it. Winners are determined by voter preferences and other considerations. What other considerations? What does that even mean? Who's in charge here? Favorite animated show. Okay, SpongeBob is back on their streak. Do we help them keep it alive? Come on. I think we all know who the winner is. Come give it to the new Rugrats, baby. Favorite female TV star. Okay, I recognize Raven Simonier. We're gonna bring this whole thing to the ground. We're gonna have a Disney Channel star win on a Nickelodeon award show, just like Dylan Sprouse would have wanted. All right, favorite male TV star. Let's see, who do we got? Young Dylan. His name is just Young Dylan? Young Dylan, Young Dylan. Tyler Perry's Young Dylan. Well, you sold it. That's all I needed to hear, baby. Let's go, Young Dylan. They got the entire cast of Stranger Things on here for favorite male TV star. <laughs> Where's Steve the Hare Harrington? This is ridiculous. I can't, I can't possibly vote. Favorite voice from an animated movie. Andy Samberg is nominated twice? <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Is that, do any other award shows let you do that? I like your style, Kids' Choice Awards. Let's see, Um, let's give it to Andy Samberg too. Favorite female artist. Cardi B is on this list. I'm gonna vote for Cardi B just because I want her to give an acceptance speech. I wanna see what she's gonna wear. Favorite male artist. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> Obviously I'm a little bit biased, I think, but let's go. Stoney Maloney, baby, come on. Favorite male sports star. Um, this might be a little bit of a hot take. I unironically think Patrick Mahomes might be the greatest football player ever. I'm, I honestly think that. That being said, gotta give it to the GOAT Tom Brady, moving on. Favorite book? Harry Potter, they don't even have an image for. <laughs> uh, that might be one of the other considerations that they take into, into consideration. I would be very surprised if Harry Potter wins this vote. First class. 
Um, yeah, let's vote for the sweet semen. I'll give it to, I'll give it to sweet semen. All right, so there you go. Those are my votes for the Kids' Choice Awards 2023. Shout out to Leo Vader for the inspiration to even make this video in the first place. Leo Vader, very good YouTuber, very good videos. Check him out for sure. And also, I in the middle of this video, I looked something up and I saw that yes, this channel, Dream this, Jelly, posted a video this is while wild. I was this making crazy. this. this is insane. Like while I was recording about slime. So if you're interested in checking out slime, I... Uh, there you go. <laughs> there are so many historic moments that I didn't get to on this. In my year-end recap video this year, I'll go into more detail as to why that is. But in the meantime, look at all the people down in the comments sharing their favorite Kids' Choice Awards moments. Seems like a really fun place to hang out. All right, extra thank you to my patrons, those listed here in the top tier. You guys, I would vote for all of you every time. And I would hope that you would thank me in your acceptance speeches. After all I've done for you, I voted. Okay, I voted. Okay. <laughs> That's all I got for you this time. Thank you so much for watching once again. I will talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.